Good morning, family and friends, brothers and sisters, and all my subs. Sergeant OCD here. Uh, today, um, I want to talk to you about salvation. Now, I was in a conversation with uh, one of the church ladies. Um, and it, you know what's great about conversation with church people, Chris, real Christians, is you can disagree and agree to disagree because it's all interpretation. But um, in our conversation, I told her, I said, I really didn't get saved until like, you know, like uh, 12 years ago or 13 years ago. And she's like, uh, well, maybe not. Because um, I asked Jesus into my heart when I was 11 and I was actually saved and I didn't know it. So I did some research on this in Acts uh, 16, uh, 30. Uh, through 31 after he brought them out he said sirs what must I do to be saved they said believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved you and your household so yeah I did believe in Jesus um, the problem I did is I didn't follow Jesus so I didn't think I was a Christian now there's a lot of Christians out there that this very verse says okay I'm saved yeah you are you know, I agree. Um, there was another verse I wanted to talk about last week. Because when the thief on the cross asked Jesus, um, he, he told Jesus, said, Jesus, remember me when you're in your kingdom. And I don't have the other verse. Um, and Jesus said, you know, today you'll be in paradise. So right on the cross, he got saved. Now, the verse that actually bothers me is Matthew 7, 22 and 23. Many will say to me on that day, because everybody's going to kneel to, to Christ. or to, to Everyone will kneel before God. When I say Christ, God, Holy Spirit, Trinity, all the same. Um, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not cast out demons in your name? Perform many miracles. And them I will declare to you, I never knew you. Depart from me, who practice lawlessness. Now, you can just go ahead and say you're saved. Keep on doing what you're doing. And all your sins are forgiven. You're covered by grace. Um, but that verse right there would bother me. So there's lots of, lots of people that forsake the gathering. Um... You know, not going to church, not reading the Word. How do you get any any type of messages from God if you're not reading the Word? I, I don't I don't understand that. You know, God doesn't speak to people that aren't saved, and if you are saved, is He speaking to you? Um, you know, that's a question you got to ask yourself. I'm not here here to preach. I'm here to. Um, actually build a cabin but God puts these things on my heart to share with you guys so that's what I'm doing and keep in mind that the Israelites they didn't they denied God they didn't believe they believed that Jesus was the Messiah and they didn't take him away from Roman rule so they deny Christ so in that with Jesus dying on the cross it brought all of us Gentiles in to be saved. So um, look out for Israelites. Um, keep an eye on them because everybody's hating them right now. Um, they don't really understand what's going on because Hamas, Islamic terrorist, came in and killed a bunch of Israelites and took a bunch hostage and how are the Israelites the bad people by going after Hamas? You know, I don't get the logic there, but you know, this is a different world than, than it used to be. Um, just keep your head on a swivel because Christians are being attacked. Um, Jewish people are being attacked because we're one and the same to them. You know, if we don't believe in this woke movement, um, we're the enemy, just like, um, the Islamic terrorists, if we don't confess to Allah, we're the enemy, you know. 
but I started a fire that I need to tend to it and um, there's a couple logs I need to go find one of them is in fairyland I'm just gonna get in and get out you know um, but I'll be back
this one's definitely a top log. Debating whether to make this a top or bottom, but big side, big side, so I gotta move it around. And chop off the other edge. This is the one I got from Fairyland, so. Fairyland is just creepy. Just the area of the, the owner's mom made. I guess for kids. The rest of the tree is fine, but I gotta get the chainsaw and cut that off. Cut up some more firewood and put it in the uh, shelter. It's going to turn out that my original shelter for where I sit in. Probably going to turn into a firewood. That's good. I like it. Problem is, it's about the straightest log I ever found. Um, too long. I left my measuring tape somewhere. I'm going to make a new one. Cut this one down last week and just went and got it. I had my camera in my bag. I just didn't feel like getting it, but I'll cut all those off even. I like it. And here's the other problem. I don't have enough of these timber screws to make the job today. to only do this side or alternate them. So I'm gonna alternate them. I'm a real uh, big proponent for SOG stuff. So every time, you know, it, it's never failed me. Well, that's why I brought my So this is the size. I'm going to have to put down um, you notice I'm wearing different pants today I uh, bought these on clearance at like Marshall's years and years ago um, I was playing softball and then I realized they were cargo pants and they had elastic around the bottom which I wasn't really into but for this, maybe not, but hiking, it'll be good. Nothing will crawl up my leg. And they have cargo pants or cargo pockets. But the only problem I have, there's no belt, so I have to wear suspenders with it.
no belt loops anyway to tie I'm not really into that so it'll good be good for hiking Jesse made fun of my purple pants, my UV camo, but I don't really care. I gotta get that straight. This guy did to this blade. That uh, crafterized work saw, but I would have already had to sharpen it by now. My other chainsaws. Out of business with my uh, stepson. Tree cutting. Well, not tree cutting. They drop logs at our place. So firewood. Ouch. Ugly. Oh, that's better. So we got a few saws, but this one is very, very different. We draw that bank line. Okay, started this project. Try this normally like I would, but I'm gonna put a slip knot in here. So I'm gonna tie it through, get it tight, and then leave this. So all I gotta do is pull this. And it's I'll do the same over here, which I believe I already did. Yeah, I like these slip knots all the way. I got to do is pull the tail in and bam, it's done. All right, so this is the size I need to look at from now on. Um, these are the two trees I cut down earlier. This is from Fairyland. 
not going to worry about cutting them off yet. I'll just go zip all the way down once I get the uh, timber screws in there. But since I'm out of screws, i got to find another project. I think I have an idea. Got about this much water, about four inches. Enough for a cup of coffee. The only problem with this system is uh, wind blows. You take out your coffee. For your water but since i started it it's got about four inches so good afternoon so what did we learn today um we learned to check your stock before you come out um i only got three logs but it's three logs i didn't have before uh we learned about salvation and how you could be in the kingdom of Christ. Um, we learned about a Dakota fire pit. It's still smoking a lot and it probably has to do with the, the wood. Wood's wet. Um, this time of the year it's kind of hard to dry out even know the amount of sun that's out. Um, doesn't really help getting rid of the moisture content in the wood. But uh, I wanted to do this for a while, and I finally was able to do the Dakota fire pit. Um, we'll get more logs on here. You see they're getting thinner. Uh, I lost my help. Um, he's, Jesse's going through some things that uh, I'm not going to say on camera. Um, made some coffee, which cold coffee is still good coffee. Uh, but uh, all in all, good day, productive day, uh, more so than last week. Uh, last week, I just, I, you know, some weeks you don't, don't have it in you, you know. But, uh, and we also learned that uh, I worked with a tactical missile squadron. Um, where was Comoso Air Station, the island of Sicily? So... If anybody was with the 487th, shoot me a message. But uh, all in all, good day. Um, the Dakota fire pit's really gonna help for cover. Um, it helps getting wet wood started because your air is coming from the bottom. Uh, but uh, all in all, good day. I do encourage you guys to um, not listen to what's going on with Israel because that's God's chosen people. All the bad things that are, that people are saying is not true, and you know it's it's prophesied that that they were going to talk about this and persecute Christian Christians, and you know at work it happens to me, but I can't say anything because it's a DE and I thing, and. Uh, they'll go with you know what's popular but anyway um there was one thing in the government um that they did say watch out for attacks on and it, the government released this uh attacks on jewish people and christians so look out for that keep your head on a swivel um get out there and train it doesn't matter if it's winter or fall or whenever. Uh, I plan on being out here throughout the winter. And it's still fall. So, train, train, train. God bless you. Take care. Love everyone. And I'll catch you all on the flip side.